when you get back and you walk in your house and you see your children and you see your wife and how how was that process how was that process in your mind how was that process of of separating what just happened seeing your brothers left there or 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 the ones you brought back that passed away like how how is that process because i don't think people really understand they yeah. watch a movie they don't understand the magnitude of what this carries with you for the rest of your life how is that process yeah. of personally recovering great question man and um there were a couple of pretty significant uh conditions about the battle in somalia that most of my buddies have never got over um i won't go into all those conditions yeah, yeah. but i will say you know what you see in the movie is a very, very toned down version of what really happened, like not even a fraction of it. And if you wow. saw what really happened, you'd vomit and then run out of the movie theater. So it wouldn't sell any tickets. Um, I, I had been trained really well as a special operations warrior, a door kicker to leave what I do at work, leave it at work and not take it home with me and able to compartmentalize there's not a switch that you can flip because you you're going to carry in your or in your heart what you've seen on a battlefield you're going to carry that with you for the rest of your life and there's no way to make those images go away but i learned how to compartmentalize it and leave it at work so i didn't talk to anybody about somalia i didn't talk to anybody about panama i didn't talk to anybody about desert storm i just kept my mouth shut i didn't talk to my wife didn't talk to my children didn't talk to my family didn't talk to anybody about it but it's world news, like front page of every newspaper in the world is showing the images of bodies being dragged through the streets and desecrated in Somalia. So there's no escape in it. And I'll tell you this anecdote. So the book comes out, my family starts to learn. Jeff was over there and Jeff was really involved. The movie comes out and my mother calls me up hysterically crying. And she said, and this is years now, several years after the battle. And she said, you never told me what you did over there. And I was like, okay, mom, you just watched this gory, violent motion picture that isn't even close to the real thing. That's not a casual conversation that you have in the barbecue in the backyard. Like, yeah. I don't tell those stories because I don't want to put on anybody else's shoulders the gruesome stuff that I've had to see. But Black Hawk Down put it out there for the world to see. And now I have to, I don't have to, that's the wrong phrase. Yeah. I get the privilege of telling not my story or what I saw. I get a privilege of telling the story of the guys that were in those vehicles with me and the incredible heroes that were in those helicopters and on the ground that day. And uh, it's taken me a while to recognize what a privilege this is. But now I try to tell that story as much as I can. And when I do, I try not to talk about me.